What's going on YouTube? It's Eric here from MajorLeagueTrading.com and what a day in the market. So we got a bunch of stuff to cover here. Uh, it was absolutely wild at the beginning of the day. And uh, I mean, you guys can see here, we've got a range for the S&Ps on the day, 68 and a half points. NASDAQ range here, you guys ready for this? NASDAQ range on the day was 234 and a quarter points on the day. Uh, absolutely insane day. Um, definitely could not have expected the news announcement that came out today, I guess about the tariffs being uh, delayed or something to that effect. And the markets just went absolutely crazy to the upside here uh, just shortly after the bell. <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not take a single futures trade today at all. Um, this market was extremely whippy. You guys can see here, this is my position, S&Ps, flat, NASDAQ, Russell, Dow, and the micros there. Uh, did not take a position in any of the markets today, uh, for futures at least. Uh, I was able to put on a Nadex position, and was able to put on an Apple position uh, that ended up working out, and we'll talk through those here in just a second. Um, but I wanna give uh, a big congratulations to a couple of room members here they just absolutely crushed it on the day. And the biggest one that came through uh, was from Kaylin here. Kaylin ended up $10,055.70 on the day by 10, 12 a.m. And then he was done for the day. Um, not a bad day for the first like 42 minutes of the trading day there, 10,000 and some change. Um, but again, just crazy, crazy move here. And if you're wondering like, okay, so Kalen made like $10,000, how much did I make? Well, I made about 250 some dollars today. I made 50 some dollars in Nadex because I put a position on, was looking to add to it, never was able to get the ad, the market just took off on us. And I made about $200 in Apple, was looking for a little bit larger trade there. Um, and it just never ended up setting up and, and following through. So just went ahead and kind of trailed it out there uh, for 200 bucks. And again, we'll talk through those here. Um, but going into the day, we had a couple levels on the board. Uh, we had this 2876 level is kind of a line in the sand. Uh, I was not looking for shorts if we were above that level. Once we get through 2900.50 to 2904 quarters, uh, longs were good up into 29, 2727.75s and then all the way up into 4350s. Uh, and the high of the day ended up being set up here at 44 quarters. Um, now, Inside of this move, I mean, from right in through here all the way up there, this is like a minute's worth of action and the S&Ps moved like 20 some points. Um, it was pretty insane. So if you're a newer trader, um, you know, these are the times where you can either make a lot of money really quickly. Um, and I don't want to say this in a negative way, but part of this move today was just complete luck. If you were in a position and the news came out and it went in your favor, it was you know, lucky that the news came out at the time that it did uh, to benefit your position. So I was partially lucky when it came to the Nadex trade um, and I was looking to add some to it, but I never really got the chance. And the position ended up working out in like 40 minutes, I think it was 30 some minutes, whatever it was. And good for like 50 some dollars. We'll talk through that one again as well. Um, but just an insane amount of stuff to cover. Um, Jay over on the Forex side hit all five profit targets on his trade. Uh, from this morning, uh, the markets just were you know, in, insane all day long here, or I shouldn't say all day long. The markets were insane up until about 1030, and then it was really, really quiet here. Um, and I think this was a little bit of uh, you know, some harder action to trade. And the reason being is, you know, I was watching this as it was trading, and the chart and the dome did not match up. Uh, there was one point where the NASDAQ the difference between the chart and what the dome was printing was over 50 points in the NASDAQ. That's $1,000 per contract. I don't know whether the chart was right, I don't know whether the dome was right, but they were 50 points apart. Um, so I just elected to go ahead and you know kind of sit on hands for a little bit, wait for the market to figure itself out, um, and that's exactly what I went ahead and did. And the Apple position that I ended up taking later on, um, you know, I don't typically do this, uh, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I, I, I don't typically do it for a number of reasons, but I took the Apple position from my phone. I wasn't actually at the desk. Uh, so I put that position on from my phone and managed that position out from my phone as well, and we'll walk through that. So 
Um, but again, just huge congratulations to Kalen. Um, Carl killed it in the room. Mike killed it in the room. Ray Callen made like 6,000. Fibonacci was up like 750. Uh, Jose followed me on a trade. Uh, so it was just an insane, uh, insane morning to say the least. Um, and I don't even know where to start, but uh, let's kick it off here. And you guys know I didn't take any trades in the futures market here. Let's kick it off and we'll talk about the, uh, the alert that I sent out this morning. So if you guys are in the MLT Discord, which you should be, if you're not, go ahead and click the link beneath this video uh, and, and get yourself in the MLT Discord. And the reason being is I put a trade out this morning where I was talking about the uh, Nadex position here for the Great Britain Pound JP, excuse me, Great Britain Pound JPY uh, for the 11 p.m. expiration. Um, picking up a small position here. Uh, this was at 9.35 this morning, Great Britain Pound JPY, and I picked this up for $31.75. This was the 127.40, 11pm expiration, and then at 10.01, closed out the Great Britain Pound JPY Nadex trade. Um, and there was some management in there where you know I was looking for uh, this move here up through this you know, 127.322 level, 127.38. And I was looking for the market to kind of move up through this level and then allow us to you know, potentially add to this position if it you know, showed signs that it wanted to work out. Well, it kind of just popped right up here, had a little bit of a small uh, you know, kind of doji bar with the bottoming tail, faked out one more time to the downside and then just ripped higher here. This is that news announcement that came out uh, at 945. So I had just gotten into this position right before this big bar kind of popped off. Um, and then I just never got a chance to add into this as the market was going, uh, you know, absolutely nuts there, but really good trade out of Great Britain pound JPY. Uh, you guys can see, oops, you guys can see here, Jose followed me a couple other room members as well. Um, so all around good trade there out of the Great Britain pound JPY. Uh, and that was actually the trade here as well that Jay took, uh, he took it a little bit after 9.42, so about seven minutes after I did. Um, picked up the 127.30 and hit all five of his profit targets uh, as well there. So it was a all around uh, good day for the alerts. We hit both alerts. So I wasn't on YouTube yesterday. I apologize for that. Um, but I'm doing this morning write up. Um, and you guys can get that in the MLT Discord for right now as well. And uh, hit both of the trades. Uh, that I gave out yesterday as well in Nadex for that. So, so far we're three for three on the week here um, and the market's got some insane volatility and just looking forward to, uh, you know, to the rest of this move uh, throughout the week. So, what else did I do today? Um, I took a trade in Apple here and what I did in Apple, again, this is a position that I managed from my phone, which is, you know, again, something that I, I don't do uh, a lot of, and I honestly don't remember the last time I did um, a complete trade just from my phone, but it ended up working out nicely. was able to pull out uh, $200 on the day from Apple here using um, the weekly calls. They're technically the monthly calls, but they expire this week uh, for Apple. They're the two tens, August 19th, which is going to be, um, or sorry, August 16th of 2019, which expire this Friday. Um, and I'm completely flat those positions here now. You guys can see a uh, quantity of zero there on that position. So I was able to make $200 there uh, from my phone. And what I did in Apple there um, was we had this kind of shakeout bar here at 115 and the market sold off really hard in, you know, kind of across the board in Apple and, and NASDAQ, S&Ps, everything here. Uh, if we look at the S&Ps, you can see this 115 bar is pretty much the largest red bar we have on the entire chart. And we just, you know, for some reason, kind of mini little flash to the downside right there in that five minutes. And, you know, NASDAQ did the same thing as well. Um, not quite as large in the NASDAQ, but we started to kind of recover a little bit of that move. And as we started to kind of recover some of that move right in here around 209.35, 209.40s, I went ahead and stepped into a position as we started kind of clearing back up over the open and close of this bar right here, right in through there. And I stepped into those 210 calls. We had this prior high over here, 209.54s. And I was honestly looking for us to kind of get, you know, somewhere up here into like the 210.50 range uh, on a nice little breakout continuation there. 
uh, to take some of the position off and then look to ride the rest of it up if we could get a new, you know, kind of fresh breakout here in Apple for the day. Again, as you can see on the charts, that didn't happen. So what I ended up doing is, you know, we, we rallied here a little bit. Another one of those little kind of mini flash bars right there, immediate reversal. And then we started pushing right up into 210. We traded 210. We traded 209.90s, .99s. We traded 209.97s. And we just couldn't quite break through that 210 level. And then when we kind of came down here, we set this little doji bar, which should be a buy setup to take us to the upside. Uh, and then as we kind of came back down under this low here around 209.70s, uh, I went ahead and just took that position off uh, and, and said, see you later to Apple and, you know, managed all of this uh, from the phone. I actually went home, uh, left the desk, went home and, uh, and had lunch and kind of a late lunch there with the wife and baby and managed that position from my phone. So that's one of the great things about trading is, you know, you don't have that person that, that can't tell you you can't leave the desk. Again, you got to be responsible with that. Um, and something that I don't do very often. But today was one of those days where I didn't get the trade off in the morning. I didn't have the setup for this move. The news came out of out of literally nowhere um, and, and didn't participate in that rally. So um, outside of the little you know Great Britain pound JPY position there. So all in all here, uh, you know, crazy, crazy day. A lot to take away here uh, at the moment. And what I'm going to be looking for here, uh, kind of going into, you know, the next few days is, you know, we've kind of, we've blown through all of these levels here and we can go ahead and just delete those from the charts. Uh, we can leave this, you know, 29.43.50 level up here uh, in place for today. We traded a high of uh, 44 quarters there on the day. So just push through that level by three ticks. Um, at this point, we're still in kind of this trend change area that I've been talking about um, in the morning write-ups in the Discord channel there. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for this market to open up, or not open up, but um, start open, start writing the write-up in the morning before the opening bell, see what tonight's overnight action kind of looks like, uh, and then kind of make my bias as to you know where I think this market is going. This move looks like we could get a, a completion all the way up into 3012.50s. That would be the next level above if we can break through 4350s and 5950s uh, and work our way up into 3012.50s. I'm not completely convinced of that just yet here. Uh, we could always get some type of headline that comes out and sends this market right back to the downside. Uh, but so far, crazy, crazy day. Uh, congrats to all the MLT room members in the Discord channel. Uh, you guys did a really, really good job. And I want to invite you guys, if you want to be a part of uh, the Major League Trading team there and join the Discord, all you have to do is click that link in the description below, drop your name and email, and you can join the Discord absolutely free. So when I'm talking on the mic and when I'm giving out these write-ups um, and, the, and the trade ideas there for Nadex and for Forex and futures um, and some options trades, all of those things are in there. There's a little something for everyone. You get access to myself and Perry and Jay and Rob uh, and, and of course all of the other MLT team members. So thank you guys so much for watching here. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button. Go live each and every morning about nine o'clock sharing my thoughts and analysis for the day. Uh, also, please give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and leave me your comments below. Let me know how you guys did today. Uh, it definitely could have been uh, either a really big day for you uh, or you could have taken some stop losses and maybe tried to fight this. So let me know how you guys did today in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.